Alright guys, we are starting off this camera test in the park with the front facing cameras on both phones. I do have the iPhone 11 Pro Max on my right and the iPhone 10s Max on my left. Now you guys should notice a difference in quality due to the fact that the iPhone 10s Max can only record it up to 1080p um, on the front facing camera. So it is, running, it is recording at 1080p 30 frames um, and the iPhone 11 Pro can now record up to 4K at the front facing camera. So that is recording at 4K 30 frames. Um, so you guys will notice a difference there. Um, but apart from that, I'm going to be switching between both mics throughout this test to see which one sounds better. I'm also going to do um, the uh, backside cameras as well. So we do have three cameras uh, on the 11 Pro Max, the telephoto, the wide and the ultra wide, compared to the 10s Max that only has the telephoto and the wide. So we're going to go through all these different tests, guys. Um, and at the end, we're going to do... Uh, a camera test just by itself just different photos compared uh, on screen so you guys will see that as well so if you guys do enjoy make sure to smash the thumbs up button without further ado let's hop into the video all right guys i've just switched over the 11 pro max to 1080p for the front facing camera at 30 frames as well just to get an even comparison of both cameras at front facing at uh, same um, re resolution and the same frame rate so here it is the difference and also you can tell that the 11 pro max does have a wider uh, field of view for the front facing ca front facing camera as well so there is more um, coming in the shot so um, this is the front facing camera uh, now i'm going to do a slow motion test with the front facing camera on the 11 pro max called a slow fee something that the uh, 10s max can't do so i'm going to play that now and then i'm going to switch over to the backside cameras Now switched over to the back cameras and these are just recording at the normal wide angle lenses on both phones exactly the same um, and we are recording at 4k 30 frames a second um, and they are next to each other the iphone 11 pro uh, max on my right and the iphone 10s max on my left now you guys can see uh how good these phones do actually look um, and then you improve smart hdr as well um, on the 11 pro max um, but there is so much more to the new cameras, um, which is so cool to see. So you got the ultra wide and the um, telephoto as well. That you do get telephoto on the tennis max, but it has been improved on the 11 Pro. So now we should do a bit of a jog and see which one looks better um, with the optic image stabilization. All right. All right, now let's just go to the telephoto lenses. All right, guys, so now we're at the telephoto lenses. Let's see what they look like. Look pretty good so far on both phones. Like I said before, we'll be switching between both mics to see which one sounds better um, and how the audio comes through. But they both do have stereo recording as well. Right, it's a bit of a zoom test with both phones. Let's go up to six optical on both phones here. Both they look. So we've got this guy riding there. Got this guy riding his one wheel there. It's both at 6x zoom. I want to do a bit of a focus test with the 2x, so we're going to look at this tree. And go to 2x and see how everything comes up in focus. Looks very nice. Now the 1x focus, let's go up to the tree now and see how the tree focuses up. So again, very bo they're both very fast at focusing. They're pretty neck and neck here as well. It will make a big difference when you get back to the monitor and I can see it on a bigger screen and without the uh, harsh sunlight. The cool thing is now we are recording at uh, 1x on both phones or just the normal wide camera. But on the new 11 Pro Max, you can hit the ultra wide now and this is what the difference is. So as you can see, there is a lot more field of view right now than what you get with the normal camera. So this is the normal one, as you guys see on the left as well. Now switching back over, a lot more in the field of view with the ultra wide. So... You're getting a lot more in the view and it is a very very nice camera as well so it's always awesome to have that third camera 
on the phone. The wind with us as well, so it's going to be good to see how much these mics do isolate your wind and if the new 11 Pro does any better at doing that. Um, but again, we are on a path now and I'm going to go for a bit of a quick little jog to see how the optic image stabilization is again. So. Alrighty. Both do look very, very, very nice. Do you have this sun directly above us there? Just want to see how the uh, contrast is with the sun there, and the exposure, everything adjusts itself. They do, again, both look very, very nice. 4K 30 frames a second again. Do look awesome. We're going to do a quick slow motion test with this water fountain, so um, let's go to the slow motion. Okay, so the clip you just saw in slow motion was actually recorded at 240 frames a second, both at 1080p on both devices, uh, just so you guys know what you're looking at. Use just the normal wide angle cameras as much as possible, just to compare them to both phones, due to the fact that the iPhone XS Max doesn't have the ultra wide. It would be a bit unfair to start using the ultra wide when um, one phone doesn't have it. So I'm just sticking right now to the normal wide camera that both phones do have. Um, but again, just to show you, this is wide angle. Um, and on the right hand side, I will go to ultra wide, as you guys can see on the right hand side with the 11 Pro Max. So there is a big difference and a lot more field of view, just so you guys, if you didn't see it before, you guys can see it now. But I'm walking through this shaded area to see the difference and how the phones do adjust when um, the light is changing and what they do look like. Now, uh, both phones are on the wide angle and the telephoto do have um, optic image stabilization, just so you guys know, but the ultra wide on the 11 Pro Max does not have image stabilization, so. But due to the fact that it's such an, a wide camera, the wider the camera, the uh, more stabilized it normally is, so it's not really a necessity as of now, but. I thought I'd just mention that. Now let's go, there's a bird over there, let's go 2x. See what it looks like on both phones. All right, it's a bit of a zoom in. Six, 6x on both phones. So just what I'm looking at now, it looks like the 11 Pro does look a bit clearer. Um, just from what I can see on the back of the phone screens. All right, and then let's go back to 1x. All right, guys. So this wraps up the video part of this test. Um, now we're gonna head on over to a bit of a camera test and different photos and all that kind of stuff. So if you have enjoyed so far, make sure to smash the thumbs up button um, and I'll catch you guys when we get to the photos. All right, guys, this is an inside video test, 4K, 30 frames a second, low light. Um, now, the iPhone 11 Pro is actually doing a lot more work in, within showing how much light is coming into the room. So it's showing a lot more light than actually what's in here. So it'll be really surprising to see what the video looks like at the end, um, but it makes it look a lot brighter than it is. So here is an indoor video test. All right, let's go to the wide angle now on the 11 Pro Max. So as you can see, guys, back to the normal wide angle and then the ultra wide. 
so much more in the field of view. So here's a quick indoor low light test video.